trigger warning. This episode will discuss some eating disorders and related topics that might disturb some members of the audience. Viewers' discretion is advised. Not gonna lie, I'm not the healthiest person on YouTube or anywhere from work until I get home. But I do not appreciate vegans that like to act all high and mighty when not everyone follows their chosen diet. As if it is the only way they can live and everyone else may call it a day. Our episode for today tackles such a person known for being a vegan evangelist at best and a body shamer at worst. I guess people who present themselves as fitness influencers generate content based on body shaming drivel. Well, not all of them. But shaming their audience for having a diet far different from theirs? Yeah, I hate those. I can always leave their content alone while I enjoy my bacon sandwich filled with creamy scrambled egg filling. Oddly specific, I know, but it's definitely not vegan. Well, this time though, since I'm going to be discussing one of these people, for episode 8 of season 3 of Untold Legends, I present to you Freely the Banana Girl. According to the website stuff.co.nz, Freely the Banana Girl's real name is Leanne Radcliffe, a Queensland-born Adelaide resident whose date of birth is unknown because she prefers to say she was born in 2012, the year in which she adopted veganism. Meanwhile, Wikipedia displayed her alleged birthday as 17 of September 1980. No age shaming there. She might just be slightly older than me. Besides, her current figure is a far cry from the alleged age. The same Wikipedia page explained the name freely from the word freedom and her first name, Leanne. And for this episode, I'd be referring to her as freely. Unless I'm quoting a news article, some of them had to be read aloud for better uh, reference. And then she started saying, I've been around the block a few times, if you know what I mean. I used to take recreational drugs, be anorexic and bulimic. I was a mess and I tried to hide it behind makeup in a well-rehearsed smile. And this is from Freely's uh, website. This is the website that she uses to promote her diet program, Raw Till 4, which means a diet that she espouses wherein her audience is encouraged to eat only raw food until 4 p.m. or at least two hours before dinner. Raw food is digestible when it is mostly fruits. This is consistent with her personal branding as Freely the Banana Girl. Good thing that article is still uh, here, preserved in order for us to quote because we're going for the juggler. We're going for one of the earliest uh, lawsuits that she ever faced because she likes to criticize other people's diet programs in order to promote her own diet program as superior, far better, far healthier. To each their own, of course. This is a lawsuit that was filed by another fitness influencer who's more dominant on Instagram than any other social media platform, Kyla Itzines or Kayla Itzines. According to the news website stuff.co, Bikini Girl vs. Banana Girl may sound like a new Marvel film, but in reality it's an online feud between two of Australia's most popular fitness bloggers and has become so toxic lawyers are now involved. Yes, this is an article that was published in March 26, 2015 involving two of Australia's top influencers. Kyla Itzines, creator of the Bikini Body Guide, is bringing proceedings against Leanne Radcliffe, better known as Freely the Banana Girl. It's in its claims that Radcliffe and her boyfriend, fellow fitness guru Harley Johnston, published defamatory information about her to their respective YouTube channels. The case was heard in the South Australian Supreme Court on Monday, with the judge recommending that the case proceed directly to trial. It's in its claims that the video in question contains inaccurate claims that her low-carb program starves people. 
while her bikini body guide advocates calorie restriction, Radcliffe's diet philosophy focuses on high-carb veganism. Radcliffe encourages her followers to eat over 10,000 kilojoules a day, the majority of which she says should be drawn from fruits such as bananas and mangoes. This early in the article, I know that this diet is not for me because as much as bananas are safe for me to eat as one with high blood sugar, mangoes are off the menu because fruits mostly have these high, high sugar content that would not be advisable to people like me. To continue with the article, an injunction has been issued against the publication of the video. However, Mr. Johnstone admitted in court that the material published in his YouTube channel was still online. That was easy for him to claim in this article because by the time that I have unearthed this article, the Instagram uh, link to this uh, piece of evidence used is not showing up on the article itself. Johnstone has an explanation for uh, that absence. They can't be viewed, but I've kept them on private in case I need them or the comments posted on them as evidence. I'm just sharing my honest opinion in the name of public interest on YouTube. Itzinis did not attend court. I have to say it doesn't help the case when you filed the case and you yourself did not show up. I still find that weird on some people that like to file charges. So they have described here at least stuff described Radcliffe or Freely as the kind of person who is notorious for running her mouth. She gained a significant amount of online notoriety in 2012 when she released a video responding to a Facebook comment that she should not be so judgmental towards other diets and what people ate was none of her business. When your obese brothers and sisters get stuck on the stairway on 9-11 preventing fit people from getting through and surviving, you make it part of my business. That's what she said in the video published by the US website Gawker under the headline, Is this the worst person on the internet? Well, the year was 2015 and Freely was definitely one of those people in the running for the being worst person on the internet. It's a matter of knowing which uh, market to attract in order to uh, sell your fitness program, but at least Itzines has one leg up compared to Freely and that has she has courted traditional media like the likes of Kim Kardashian. Maybe not that uh, credible but still media nonetheless that has uh, a wide reach when it comes uh, to social media marketing. It, they end up comparing the two fitness programs here on this article wherein it's in this program is basically that a, a fitness program that would help you attain a bikini body because as she mentioned in this article fitness has become my passion and now I get to help women around the world every single day I hope to inspire you to be the best you can be and that is quoted from her website Freely the Banana Girl of course is promoting her raw till 4 diet and also stuff quoted Freely's website here on explaining how she started out she says I've been around the block a few times if you know what I mean I used to take recreational drugs, be an arrest, and bulimic. I was a mess and I tried to hide it behind makeup in a well-rehearsed smile. And then, the program itself. That she refers as high-carb veganism. And eating a lot of bananas. Because she's the banana girl. Duh. Her program is called Raw Till 4. She encourages her followers to eat only raw foods, mainly food, until 2 hours before dinner time, at which point they should have a small cooked meal. A sample menu given on her website is a smoothie made with 10 bananas for breakfast, 3 mangoes, and 6 medjool dates for lunch, and 3 cups of cooked rice with vegetables for dinner, and with 3 liters of water consumed throughout the day. 3 liters of water consumed throughout the day as your daily quota is good. Uh, 10 bananas for breakfast sounds like an overkill. 
three mangoes and six metro dates for lunch my blood sugar is crying and then there is cooked meal for dinner but it's still vegetables so yeah it's still vegan at least it's consistent with the vegan lifestyle she is espousing now 10,460 kilojoules is converted by stuff into 2,500 calories um, a must for people who are in a diet and very anal retentive when it comes to their calorie count so as much as these two influencers are dominating on different platforms it's in as dominating Instagram freely dominating YouTube the fact that freely did not hesitate Freely and her then partner did not hesitate in calling out It's in his diet as a starvation program simply because of the low calorie approach to dieting. Yeah, she would not hold herself back when it comes to uh, critiquing certain diets. If ever this diet is controversial, it is understandable because this is a person that is bragging around town or at least online that she eats 50 bananas a day at least according to shape.com in an article entitled the mono meal plan is one fat diet you shouldn't follow this was published april 30 2015 a, f uh, a few weeks or should i say a few uh, around a month after the article with kyla itzinus was published so the article states here that Freely Banana Girl eats 50 bananas a day, that's it, but experts warn fat diets like feasting only on fruit to lose weight can do serious damage. Because mono diets, mono diets meaning just a single fruit or a single uh, ingredient to last through the day, it can be dangerous too. And we're not yet mentioning which nutrients might be lacking in the diet itself um, by the way disclaimer I'm not a nutritionist I'm just I'm just becoming more and more aware about the food I eat because of the maintenance medication I'm undergoing and I how I don't want that to conflict with much of the food that I eat so continuing with the article here uh, shape.com said mono diets are nothing new there's the apple diet the way too good to be true chocolate diet I want that <laughs> and the and even the milk diet, which was actually developed by two doctors. In the slightly less hardcore realm, there are the fruitarians, or people who limit their fuel to the food group of fruit. Fruitarianism is the diet that famously sent Ashton Kutcher to the hospital in 2013. Shape.com did not provide a link though uh, for that piece of information. Today, the hashtag, monomil hashtag on Instagram highlighting people's beautiful pictures of a plate loaded with a single kind of food has over 24,000 uploads. The most famous of mono diet devotees, though, is Freely the Banana Girl, an Australian who regularly blends 10 to 15 bananas into one breakfast smoothie, then repeats that for lunch and dinner, downing about 50 bananas a day. That's including a few whole ones she eats to tide herself over between meals. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. My Filipino subscribers will understand what the word umay is. Freely has been blowing up the internet in the past year or two, between 2012 and 2015 preferably, garnering a massive social media following and even writing a book, 30 bananas a day. Why on earth would you want to eat 50 bananas a day? Advocates argue that eating a single type of food can not only help you lose weight and solve digestive issues like bloating the What? But also takes the guesswork out of healthy eating and streamlines your meals And here we go with some of the criticisms on the program itself We're in shape.com quoted Holistic nutritionist Laura Logano, where she says, I would never recommend a mono diet, and I don't think any dietitian would suggest you just eat fruit for an extended period of time. Manuel Villacorta, RD, says, We need to eat a variety of foods because they each provide different 
nutrients essential to the functioning of our bodies. And this is coming from the author of Whole Body Reboot, The Peruvian Superfoods Diet to Detoxify, Energize, and Supercharge Fat Loss. And then he continued, eating 50 bananas a day is crazy. It would create a massive nutrient deficiency. Shape.com continued in the article, Mono diet disciples typically do allow themselves to trade out their food of choice. Sometimes. Freely, for example, will turn to a single fruit that is on sale that day, and she eats one head of lettuce a few times a week, and she recommends 2,500 calories a day to her banana girls, including minuscule amount from additional sources like coconut water, potatoes, and other fruits and veggies. One banana, by the way, has 105 calories. This means she herself is consuming upwards of 5,000 calories. Yay for calorie content. High calorie veganism, consistent to what was reported earlier on the previous article that we cited. Going back to Ms. Lagano, she stated here, Fat, which no fruit has a sufficient amount of essential for neurological functioning. That is the problem when mono meals like these are adopted. And many vitamins like vitamin E, vitamin D, and vitamin K are fat soluble so your body can't even digest the great nutrients you're trying to load up with. According to Villa Corta. As for protein, the lack of protein should be obvious here by now. We're talking about bananas. We're talking about a diet that doesn't have meat in it. And yes, I like meat. I am a carnivore. No, I'm an omnivore. It just so happened that I eat more meat than vegetables and fruits. Yeah, I do that. So, back to the article. As for protein, the amount in fruit isn't enough to sustain a sedentary person, let alone the levels needed by the body of an active person, a category we assume people using this extreme diet to be healthy. Yeah, so much for being healthy. And Shape.com added, those are just the macronutrients. The reason nutritionists recommend eating a rainbow of colors is because there are different macronutrients like phytonutrients, antioxidants, and vitamins in each kind of food. If you're only using, if you're only eating oranges or bananas, your body isn't garnering the lycopene in tomatoes and red bell peppers or the beta carotene in carrots and sweet potatoes. Sweet potato, that's kamote for us Filipinos, not to mention other countless other essential nutrients. Kamote diet, thank god no one has promoted the kamote diet yet. Not that I would like other people to keep putting their diets out. Lagan is a good uh, reference to use here as a scene on shape.com when she stated here, limiting your food to a single source sounds like disruptive eating. I can't help but uh, agree to that. And it doesn't help that Freely is pretty blunt with her with her history with eating disorders. According to Shape.com further, in fact, Freely does say on her site that she has a history of bulimia, anorexia, and extreme dieting, which her banana diet supposedly cured as mono meals throw portion control out the window. This idea of qualifying mono diets as an eating disorder, which is echoed by most nutritionists, is made even scarier considering the fact that Freely has 230,000 Instagram followers. But followers aren't everything. Mono dieting can also limit your socialization. So much of your social life revolves around food, and interacting with friends is one of the most crucial factors for your health as well, Lagano adds. I think this is the ultimate kicker in this uh, article here. Cutting out processed foods and incorporating more smoothies of all colors can help your body reboot, says Villa Corta. And I have to agree. Processed foods, as long as you don't eat them every day, as, you, as long as you still have whole foods to eat, then you'd be good. Because processed foods, remember what other ingredients might have been mixed in there? to keep them processed or at least process them better for 
preservative purposes, it can be really dangerous, especially for people with having issues uh, with their triglyceride. <laughs> okay. There are some parts in this article that sounds like promoting some other diets. Yeah, basically the same game plan that Freely, the banana girl, has been doing in order to promote her own diet. But still, it would give an idea how dangerous certain mono diets are. Now, Freely is so dedicated to living the raw vegan lifestyle that she even claimed to be living off the grid and adopting the nude vegan blogger lifestyle like nude like she wanted to be so close to nature she's she's practically posting photos of herself on instagram at that time in the nude uh, claiming that she's uh, getting herself closer to nature and also this is reported by by the cut.com we're in the all natural world of freely the banana girl was mentioned Around 2018, since this article quoted is published last August 17, 2018, this was the time when Freely has officially adopted the off-grid lifestyle in the South American jungle with her partner. Some, some reports are stating that it's not in the South American jungle, that it's actually in in Queensland, uh, Australia itself, or anywhere in Australia where you may finally live off the grid. It's important we have more than one uh, references to make sure we compare notes. Why does she call herself the banana girl? As mentioned in this article, she follows a frugivorous diet, meaning that she typically only eats fruits. Most of her daily food intake comes in the form of mono meals. Yes, we encounter that term again. That consists of a single type of fruit, such as two whole pineapples or five mangoes. These diets really sound extreme. I'm sorry. After 4 p.m., she ditches her raw diet and will sometimes indulge in a cooked mono meal. For example, she once ate nearly 8 pounds of cooked potatoes for dinner. However, she sometimes will choose to have a third meal of fruit to bring up her daily calorie intake to anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000. Also, she freaking loves bananas so much that sometimes she apparently eats up to 20 at a time and once ate 51 in a day. Of course, not surprisingly, not everyone believes the off-grid lifestyle that she's living. Because if it's really off-grid, why still their internet connection? Yeah, that would be brought up later. Uh, a little later in this episode. She eventually described the off-grid uh, lifestyle that she's eventually adopted. And she wrote in a Facebook uh, post in February 2018 that was quoted by TheCut.com. I spend most of the day nude, free of restrictive clothing. I feast mostly on organic fruits and vegetables picked from the land. I shower in monsoonal rains and drink from pristine creeks. I quit an unhealthy relationship and found peace. I haven't shaved my body hair, dyed my hair, or worn makeup in over six months. Uh, don't worry, I can confirm that this lifestyle is possible. It's been romanticized in some of the local movies here in the Philippines, I should tell you. And yes, I mentioned that I'm from the Philippines because um, that might be a little relevant later. Maybe not the Philippines itself, but Asian territories. This is where, according to the cut, her followers have become suspicious of her so-called grid-free lifestyle, accusing her of everything from secretly living in a mansion to being a fraud for using a smartphone and laptop. Finally, in late June 2018, she addressed the allegations on Instagram. And then, of course, she wrote, One commenter said, I was lying and living in a mansion out here and have a photographer who follows me around, taking all my pics. She wrote, Not quite, honey. In reality, I've been living in a tent under a shed for many months, 
through monsoonal winds and gale force winds. Unquote. In the same post, she addressed the person who questioned her use of electronics in the jungle, writing, Yes, I do have a smartphone, but no reception, laptop, and internet made possible through a satellite connection, necessary tools of communication and income. This means I can share with you what I see as an empowering, urgent message. At this stage, I can't send you that message telepathically." Unquote. She'll have you know, per her Instagram, that her life has been really tough at times. This might explain why eventually, in 2020, Freely has joined TikTok in order to post her vegan lifestyle. As reported by the news website news.com.au, Freely the Banana Girl reveals insane daily diet on TikTok. Don't worry, some of the photos would be shown on screen as well for brevity. So this is the diet that she has revealed. She revealed that she practically eats what she typically eats in a day, starting off with half a watermelon. Next, Leanne had more fruit, eating four ice cream bananas grown on her North Queensland property for a snack. That obviously debunked the part where she's in the South American jungle, since it's from the North Queensland property. And then lunch was more fruit. Nice cream that was, well, banana base and it's from a local company. And she claims to be living off the grid. Okay, back on the article. Freely added, for a snack in the afternoon, I had these organic Turkish figs, which were really juicy, yummy, great source of iron. I then picked a papaya from one of our trees and it was like apricot jam. Finishing off the day, Leon ate her first cooked meal of the day. For dinner, I made this amazing coconut curry, coconut from the property. It turned out really, really delicious. Lots of curry spices, she said. It got millions of views on TikTok, not surprisingly, knowing how uh, Freely aggressively promotes her lifestyle to convince everyone about the raw till 4 diet. Some of the photos were also provided in order to at least prove. I'm not gonna lie, that coconut curry doesn't look so appetizing. The feedback based on the photos and images that were shared by Freely on her TikTok uh, did not get much positive comments, maybe some, but in this article, the questions were highlighted. like. Where are the meals? These are snacks. Where are the carbs? It's all fruit and vegetables. Where's the water? Uh, that's a good point to highlight here. Where's the water? So, Freely then replied, I drink water, but this is what I eat in a day. Where's the carbs? This day is about 75% of calories carbs. While another person sarcastically commented, it's the protein deficiency for me. Yes, protein deficiency is the most obvious thing here. I'm vegan, but like almost your whole diet is fruit. Where's the beans, rice, legumes, vegetables, more nuts, another rope. Others said that the diet isn't wasn't attainable or realistic, with one person commenting, How can you afford it? What do you do as a career? Of course there would be some that defended her diet, as I mentioned a while ago calling it inspirational and uh, amazing and then the benefits and effects of veganism well at least this article quoted the harvard health publishing in 2017 wherein a healthy plant-based diet has been proven to have the lowest risk of heart disease but research published in the harvard medical schools harvard health publishing in 2017 stated those following an unhealthy plant-based diet fruit juices refined grains fries and sugar sweetened beverages had a substantially higher risk really the banana girl's problematic personality is not lost on another website not exactly known for the lifestyle or health based uh, articles but more for pop culture from jezebel.com entitled 
and I will be censoring this title. A year of bananas, vasectomies, and R allegations with the weekends of YouTube. Written and published last April 2016, I suppose. I'm not good at reading this named versions of the or the numbered versions of the date because I might be reading it last November and then I would realize later it's actually April 2016 when it was published. I would only be reading parts that were related to Freely that would at least keep us safe in the algorithm. So Freely's followers have been labeled a cult by critical members of the vegan YouTube community, and their online drama center around a range of real-life controversies that form a thicket of accusations so dense that clarity about what's true and what's not can, at times, be impossible to attain. In the months I spent watching these people's comings and goings, I found myself bewildered by the antagonism surrounding a variety of pressure points, including a dubious diet, competing legal claims originating to a semi-permanent community in Thailand, a baffling campaign for mass vasectomies, what? and a secretive breakup that spiraled into accusations of DV. Freely has been posting videos on YouTube since 2008, although she told the writer that she deleted many of her early videos because I thought I was too fat. Gaining outside notoriety and regular tabloid attention for various absurd statements she's broadcast, for instance, that obese people caused 9-11 deaths by blocking the stairways in the World Trade Center, the 2011 video and its channel Bitchin' Freely have since been deleted, or that 13-year-old YouTube star Talia Joy, who died of cancer in 2013, could have been saved if she had swapped out chemotherapy for a raw vegan diet. Yikes. In the two months of emailing that it took for Freely to commit to an interview, the writer got to know her in other ways. Her YouTube channel has nearly 800 videos, as of this writing, and the writer have watched too many of them that at a certain point, they began to blur together into a single Aussie-accented reprimand that the writer can hear in the head sometimes while trying to fall asleep. I can't blame you. I'm not good at uh, impersonating an Australian accent myself, so I just let it go. Early efforts to show Freely dancing by herself for two minutes straight, seen in the hit, Sexy Dancing Fraterian Girl in Underwear, which received over a million views. These more blatant appeals to virality contrast quite a bit with more recent videos which show Freely traipsing through her morning routine in an elegantly renovated home in Australia's Gold Coast. But she consistently relies on a few key images, the large quantity of food she eats and the results of that consumption, her body. Freely's body is the product and the salesman, and it appears in bikinis, in lingerie, in crop tops, and teeny shorts. Her arms gesture wildly, her voice, soft and tentative, in her earliest videos, became sharper, almost irritated over the years. And I'm not using any of those videos because I was told that she has a tendency to copyright strike certain content creators here on YouTube. The effect is likely meant to evoke a tough but wise life coach. Occasionally, it swerves closer towards the childhood camp counselor who made you cry. Her path to losing 40 pounds of blubber, as she had phrased it, involved a few Tony Robbins seminars and several beautiful women. One in a magazine article, another at a raw food picnic whose eating habits she mimicked. Through this method, Freely encountered and began following an extreme mono diet that involves eating only bananas for up to a month, called Banana Island. For several years thereafter, Freely went beyond, far beyond veganism to follow a high-carb, fully raw vegan diet of mostly fruit, the lifestyle she became known for on YouTube. Her first ebook, Go Fruit Yourself, was released in 2011. At what Point. At one point, she had jewelry custom made for her out of real orange slices. They have since rotted. Freely didn't do this alone. 
In 2006, she met her now ex-boyfriend, Durian Ryder, another self-styled vegan guru on a raw food forum. And until this summer, they were regular collaborators and romantic partners. Durian Ryder is the YouTube name of Harley Johnstone. His namesake, the durian, is a popular Southeast Asian fruit that smells like raw sewage. Similar to Freely, but on a somewhat smaller scale, he has about 200,000 followers. Dorian Ryder has cultivated a fan base that seems to view him as one of the only vegans out there who tell it like it is. Until recently, or at least around 2016, Freely and Dorian Ryder's reputations have been completely entwined, although Dorian Ryder is generally understood to be the more controversial of the pair. Dorian Ryder, who often features images freely in videos and on Instagram and has jokingly claimed to profit from pimping her out, takes credit for convincing Freely to start polarizing her audience with controversial statements, a tactic he says she recoiled from at first. Not many people can handle the drama. I remember Freely at the start couldn't handle it, and I said, look, this is really good for views, he recalled. Freely didn't dispute this claim. People love the drama. The Kardashians are so popular because there's drama attached to them. There's another mention of the Kardashians right there. Indeed, Freely, who is open about her eating disorder history, has been known to accuse other diet gurus of promoting eating disorders. Dorian Ryder, a cycling enthusiast who encouraged Freely and many of her followers to start biking, occasionally implies that other fitness personalities use steroids, despite the fact that he publicly experimented with them in 2014, boasting about how easily they were to obtain from a doctor. Freely and Dorian Ryder were sued in 2015 by fitness personality Kayla Itzines and her partner Tobias Pierce, who accused them of defamation for claiming Itzines' program, The Bikini Body Guide, starves people and that Pierce uses steroids. That case settled out of court. Oh, finally, a result from that case. Veganism, as it's traditionally defined, is only one element of Freely's brand. After some time on a completely raw diet, Freely says that she and Dorian Ryder got really hungry. And in 2012, Freely began promoting a controversial lifestyle called Raw Till 4. As it's also known, instructs followers to consume a minimally processed raw vegan diet of mainly fruit in enormous quantities for the first two meals of the day and then for dinner, a high-carb cooked dinner of starchy plant-based foods. She says her mom came up with the name. RT4ers are told to consume unlimited calories, the majority of which should come from fruit. Adherence to raw till 4, according to Freely's book, The Raw Till 4 Diet, can result in weight loss, lighter, shorter periods, improved thyroid issues, reversal of polycystic ovary syndrome, healed irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease and other chronic digestive issues, and the reversal of type 2 diabetes. Press X to doubt. Dorian Ryder told me that they've seen people lose half their body weight and claim that people have reversed or massively improved. What? Eczema, anemia, chronic fatigue, fri Pue? fibromyalgia, mental issues, insomnia, depression. What? I've seen pretty much everything. Press X to doubt again. He also claimed that they've seen a few cancer patients reverse their conditions, although he declined to name them. Freely is not, it should be mentioned, a licensed nutritionist, dietitian, or MD, nor is she a college graduate. The lack of credentials doesn't seem to damage her brand much. Freely presents this as a positive, freeing her from the long arm of the meat and dairy industries. Freely told me her outsider status gets her compared to Donald Trump a lot, but she doesn't know much about him and said that politics in general don't interest her. When I asked, when the writer asked if she votes, voting is compulsory in Australia, she replied, I vote with my dollar. 
Intermittently, over the past few years, media outlets have attempted to debunk raw till 4 and the high volume of bananas freely recommends eating. She told the writer she now eats about 10 a day, but if an individual feels like eating up to 51 bananas in a day, then they should go for it. Bananas are the last thing I would advise people to eat 30 a day of, health writer Joe Robinson told the Daily Beast in 2014. Adolescent girls are especially vulnerable to raw till 4. Nutritionist and food science lecturer Evangeline Mansioris, PhD, told Australia's Adelaide Messenger in June, because a lowered intake of essential food groups can reduce your growth rate. A recent BBC documentary called Clean Eating's Dirty Secrets panned the raw till 4 diet. In a video response, Freely called BBC the British Brainwashing Corporation. Not su surprised that she would call them that as she has a tendency to make everyone else sound bad in order to make herself sound good. And yes, it's a familiar marketing tactic for some uh, people in the wellness industry in an attempt to promote their own um, diet programs. And you may have expected her to be reacting to some mukbangers, right? Maybe some of you have first encountered her the moment she started reacting to some mukbang content creators on YouTube. Because as much as she promotes the unlimited calories approach to eating, this is the kind of uh, unlimited eating that would definitely disturb her. If Freely has free time to react to other fitness programs she deems inferior to her fitness program, she definitely has time to react to another niche on YouTube, mukbang content creators. One of the mukbangers that she reacted to was Candy, better known by her YouTube username, Hungry Fat Chick. This is where Freely's consistency with her program at least showed. She obviously has an issue with eating less. Maybe you remember how she called out its in his program as a starvation diet. But with Candy, she obviously recommended her eating program. She mentioned how Candy need not to eat less but replace the diet altogether. She was surprisingly nice on this clip. Which shows how even some fitness influencers have acknowledged that Candy is just monetizing in her binges. Also, not surprisingly, Hungry Fat Chick found time to reply to this uh, video by posting a comment of which Freely the Banana Girl pinned. I am very appreciative of you for reaching out to me freely, but I must politely decline your offer of help. I'm on my own journey here. My struggles are my own. I'm a mukbanger and a fetish model. I eat for a living and the unhealthy meals get more views. Even though people are hate watching or watching out of concern for my health or because they enjoy what I do, I'm here to make money. At the end of the day, I'm taking care of my own health in my personal life, the life that people don't see outside of YouTube. I brought to you all my diet struggles and I regret doing that. I can see now, I need to make my weight loss videos private. I mukbang twice a week and I can't promise I could follow a vegetarian or vegan meal plan the rest of the week either. I'd revert back to my old habits within a week and I wouldn't want to waste your time and efforts because I'd still be doing the unhealthy mukbangs for my work. It wouldn't even look like I was taking it seriously anyway. Again, thank you for reaching out to me and for your kind offer of help. You're an awesome person. Freely had to reply. Thank you for being totally honest with me, Candy. I appreciate that. It saddens me how you don't believe in yourself more and realize you are worth it and you can do it. You can start doing epic vegan mukbangs and people will still follow you and your health will improve truckloads. Your transformation will be an inspiration to thousands. Never forget your health is your greatest wealth and if you don't prioritize your health over money, it will eventually cost you all the money you have made on YouTube and fetish sites in medical bills. My offer doesn't have an expiry date but the time is now, Candy. 
that was surprisingly nice of Freely, but on the other hand, the moment that she mo mentioned that her offer has no expiry date, then she simply had to wait until Hungry Fat Chick would finally take it and acknowledge the risk of losing her source of income. Of course, as expected, we cannot help but see a reaction that Freely the Banana Girl made to our girl, Foodie Beauty Chantal Marie. Foodie Beauty is included in Freely's Rogue Gallery, that's for sure. And right on the get-go, she did not hide her disdain at Chantal's quote-unquote animal diet. Don't worry, I'd react only to certain snippets, not the whole video. You'd realize later in my reaction why. In a video uploaded last August 3, uh, 2019, saying, Chantal, you are 400 pounds. You do not need more animal, saturated animal fat and protein in your body. In a video uploaded last August 3, 2019, saying, Chantal, you are 400 pounds. You do not need more animal, saturated animal fat and protein in your body. Do you think everybody out there in the audience, do you think you will lose fat by eating animal fat? Unquote. Freely stated further in the same video, you cannot starve your 400 pound body into a 130 pound body. It will not work. Crap, I just have no time for these people except to call them out. Of course, I have no time for the excuses of why they need therapy and why they need this and they're special. You and I both, Freely. You and I both. In the middle of her early rant, at least she remembered to plug her channel and her eating program before going back to ranting at Chantal. Now, you have to stop identifying as fat. You are not fat. That is not your name. That is not your identity. That's not who you are. Oh dear, those words definitely didn't age well, but it's essential to freely sales talk as you will hear later. To continue, freely added, you are not fat. You just have fat. It's a temporary state. You gathered fat on your journey, but at any time, you can begin to lose that fat. Don't identify with the fat. It is not you. It is not your name. It is not your condition. So just really get that in your head. And if you want more weight loss motivation on Raw Till 4, you can find the link in the description below. Unquote. I am surprised to see myself agreeing with some of Freely's points about Chantal and how they aged well. Things she said about Chantal are easy to ignore at that time because maybe some viewers get a little distracted with Freely shoehorning her raw tail 4 diet plan every opportunity she gets in the half hour she got to spend reacting on foodie beauty. I am pertaining to the animal cruelty that Chantal might be guilty of, saying, and I quote, so my first impressions of Chantal are not good. Obviously, you know, I see a weak person here just incubating heart disease. It's just making her a graveyard for thousands of innocent animals that she... That is what she is doing, you know? And, and she is eating the foods. She is eating the foods that made her gain the fat in the first place. Unquote. The part of the video <laughs> makes it seem like she's disgusted with Chantal more because she's consuming animal products and blaming the same animal products for Chantal's weight gain. Quite ironic for someone who relies on a diet program with unlimited calorie intake. The only difference perhaps is Freely's reliance on high calorie low fat diet is dependent on fruits and other uncooked foods. A chunk of the video is freely trying to kill trip Chantal about the number of chickens that had to suffer so Chantal can eat. She even recommended the documentary Dominion about veganism to make Chantal take her plant-based lifestyle seriously. Once she got to the part where Chantal was already trying the keto diet, freely just went off and said, Keto diet is all about starvation. It's about starving your body into weight loss and it's about cutting carbohydrates because for every gram of carbohydrates because for every gram of carbohydrates your body stores naturally 3 grams of cups. Unquote. Uh, Freely was so angry she said 3 grams of cups by mistake when she actually meant 3 grams of water. 
I have not watched a foodie beauty at the time that she was uh, trying out to be a vegan. Although I've always heard about her attempts at being a vegan while eating a rotisserie chicken herself, which made the whole attempt funny. So, reading this uh, pinned comment by Freely the Banana Girl of Foodie Beauty herself, well, I feel a little unenthusiastic about it since, uh, spoiler alert, the vegan phase did not last. I only aware of some snippets. So, Foodie Beauty commented, Hi Freely! Even though I've been eating animal products, I've always admired your passion for the vegan cause and understand and appreciate your message. I want to assure you though that any time I have attempted a plant-based diet, it was never for views. I am a severely conflicted individual and you are right with a ton of excuses. I hope you will say I will get my shit together soon, XO. Of course, really made reaction videos to Amber Lid Read too. Yes, videos, plural, because she just can't make Amber Lynn comment to her video. In other words, this girl is ignoring her, and I can't blame her because some of these videos are already insufferable for me to watch on low volume or even on mute. I'm sorry, it's as if Freely let herself loose with the big brain video effects and practically ranted around like she's begging for Amberlynn to notice her. I should make a part of this video soon if only Amberlynn wasn't too trigger happy with her manner of striking videos critical of her. So we have yet to see if she did strike some of uh, Freely's videos critical of her. Knowing how some content creators have a fan base smaller than that of Freely, they got strikes, or worse, they got demonetized for covering Amberlynn Reed. I'd sit those reaction videos out and go back to Freely. Because the latest about Freely is that Harley Johnston, better known online as Dorian Ryder, has officially sued her. And I will quote some snippets from one of his latest videos explaining everything. Why am I suing Freely the Banana Girl for $3 million? Why? I want to show men and women out there it's not okay to falsely call someone or accuse someone or make up just because you hate someone, call them a mm paste or P3DO or a stalker, okay? It's not okay. Now yeah, some trolls in the past here tried to get clout by talking some crap about me in the past. But the reason why I didn't take anything to court because they had no money. I'm not sure if you understand here. In Australia, it costs a lot of money to take someone on the court of defamation. So you better make sure they have a lot of money, okay? Freely has millions and millions of dollars that she's made up for my programs. Um, she fled to Ecuador last time I took her to court, okay? I tried to take her to court, pay the lawyers, and she fled. She fled the country. She fled Australia to Ecuador. She was... Uh, she's back in Australia. She's in Cape Tribulation. I went to a place last year to confirm that I also wanted to go there for a health check-in, mental health check-in end quote. I would stop right there because uh, the quotes are starting to get a little dark as well. Could this be karma for everything that uh, Freely had done in the past for allegedly scamming everyone that bought into the raw till 4 diet? I remember other content creators like Sid Dwyer covering the victims, alleged victims of the raw till 4 diet. People that were encouraged to undergo the unlimited calorie diet or high carb low fat diet that was espoused by Freely the Banana Girl that she promoted once with her ex-partner the Durian Rider. I highly recommend that you watch those because they risk covering those topics um, at the risk of uh, getting demonetized. Um, this couple had uh, a reputation for being bullies online so I think I have to apologize if I took the safe route here since I based my commentary much on what I experienced when it comes to my health, what am I allowed to eat, and what is not safe for me to eat. In this case, seeing 
the fallout after the split of the vegan community's supposedly controversial couple, it's kind of... It sounds like karma to me. The fallout sounds like karma to me, not gonna lie. With Dorian Ryder claiming that Freely might look different now, compared to the images used in the YouTube version of this episode, who knows how she actually looks like now. Here's one thing I can say here as part of my final thoughts. Eat what you want, make sure that it is a balanced diet, don't be immediately uh, encouraged by some of these uh, fitness influencers online, especially when you have an idea of your current health situation. Like on my health, much of my comments may not be based mostly on a dietitian's uh, advice or nutritionist's advice, but mostly on what is safe for me to eat. Why feel the Banana Girls uh, diet program cannot work for me, and how come a lot of people did not realize this until they gained weight when it's supposed to be a fruitarian diet that you're supposed to have fiber and low fat and then end up gaining fat simply because of the imbalance in the nutritional value absorbed under this eating program so I would leave it at that if you'd like me to cover the other more dangerous uh, aspects or the more sensitive aspects of uh, this uh, video I would I uh, highly recommend that you post them in the comments below. I appreciate uh, you coming over and listening to me. So thank you very much for being here at episode 8 of season 3 of Untold Legends. And I would be seeing you on the next episode. Next episode uh, would be... I would be seeing you on the next episode of uh, season 3. That would be Must Singer. Yes, I will be having a lot of fun this time out with that episode, I hope. Thank you very much for staying here with me. See you on the next episode of Season 3 of Untold Legends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.